in this lecture we will learn about the dispatch loop okay so what is dispatch loop so dispatch loop is the loop that is being run by the operating system code so your os is also a software so it's basically running code and that runs all the so there is a program in that which runs or schedules different threads okay so let's try to see what does that code look like so in that dispatch loop the dispatching loop of the operating system it looks something like this okay so let's try to analyze it a bit so there is a loop infinite loop okay so there is a loop run thread okay so there is some thread okay which it runs so there is a queue of thread okay so ready queue that we studied in the last class so there is a ready queue in that lot of threads are there so this is the front this is the rear so run thread so there is thread t1 t2 t3 etc so whichever is in the front it takes and it says that t1 dot run it's run thread basically it will run that thread so it starts running then what happens it chooses the next thread so it knows that okay it has to run it for let's say one second okay of course i'm saying a big number it will be some milliseconds okay so it runs let's say for one second and then it has to now run the so t1 is out t2 is in the front it has to run thread t2 which has even higher priority so it runs for two seconds so now what happens it chooses the next threads so it takes out t2 and now it saves the but t1 is not complete so it saves the state of t1 state of c save state of cpu the current thread control block is saved in the memory and now it loads the state of the new thread okay which is the t2 so it loads the thread that okay what was the line number it was executing what are the values of the register at present what input output file it was using what memory stack pointer was there and so on everything will be loaded okay so this loop keeps on running and it keeps on scheduling the different threads okay so now this is an infinite loop one could argue that th is this all that our operating system does so very much this is the skeleton code that it runs for scheduling threads now run thread how we will now look little zoom into the code so run thread how do i run a thread okay so run a thread load i need to load its state so what were the values of the registers so let's say it was doing some calculation a and b were parameters and it had to add them so it will load a in one register let's say r1 it will load b in another register r2 and r3 will be sum of r1 plus r2 then it will store it in some value c so c will have r3 value so these all registers whatever was the stack pointer this was some function so stack pointer will point to that one in the cpu it will load the environment so virtual memory what is there and then it will jump to the program counter which line of instruction it needs to execute how does dispatcher get control back so how does a dispatcher what does it mean okay so wow how will a dispatcher get a control back so now a thread starts executing cpu is there the dispatcher will give now execute t1 from line number 32 where the program counter was pointing to so now if it is running 32 33 34 35 it executes let's say till 46 now it wants to other threads to run so how will it happen thread returns control one thing is the person itself the thread is so good it says okay after line number 46 i yield i'm done please let other people also get the chance i will complete next times very gentleman okay so this thread is gentleman but not all people are gentlemen so some external event will come a timer will come fire and it will say okay your time is up now and it that thread will go okay so this is another way okay 
and so yielding so the act of requesting input output so one thing is a thread was running then suddenly it says that okay i want to print something to in some output device so now its work is towards the output device so it will automatically yield the relinquish its cpu suddenly or you are waiting for something to happen then you don't need the cpu you are just waiting and your cpu wants it to be always being utilized so it will automatically go to the next thread another thing is gentlemen so the compute pi it knows that it is an infinite function so it after calculating next digit it yields after every one digit it will yield that okay please other people do their work so what happens stack of a yielding thread so what will happen compute pi that is the stack user stack now a trap to s will come a kernel yield will happen that after one yield when the function says the kernel stack will yield run new thread then it will call what the kernel code will be run basically and it will say that okay os will get a trap and it will say that okay start a new thread and switch will happen how do we run a new thread so how do we run a new thread so run new thread a function will be called new thread pick a new thread from the queue switch current thread new thread so this will basically save the thread control block of the present thread and load the new thread and some thread housekeeping will be there okay so this is there finish thread not killed right away okay so one question so this is a question so can you answer finished thread not killed right away why so what will happen if i kill a finished thread anyone has answer please give okay move them in exit terminated state okay thread housekeeping deallocates okay so that i i have the answer also so move them in exit terminated state thread housekeeping deallocates finished threads so this is there how does dispatcher switch to a new thread saves anything so a lot of things are there so we will see something a detour or interrupt controller so how does an interrupt work so interrupt invokes with interrupt lines from a device so they are all physical things interrupt is something like if switch on a device or something interrupt comes out through some lines okay buses or something like that so they come so a lot of devices are there cd device okay so suddenly you put a cd in your cd device cd rom or dvd rom so it will automatically you will see that okay i can read one dvd get started running so how it happens how it knows so there is some physical thing there and it makes an interrupt to your computer okay and then your computer knows that okay you have to do some work so interrupt controller chooses interrupt request to owner so there is an interrupt controller which decides okay some interrupt has come it will see that interrupt and decide what i need to do okay priority it will check the priority it might enable or disable some interrupt okay you don't always want some interrupt so it might disable some so these are the things so preemptive multi threading so use uh, the timer interrupt for scheduling preemptive means you can interrupt them interrupt some routine was going on interrupt a timer came it interrupted run new thread switch okay do periodic housekeeping run new thread so this is preemptive multi threading so these are the things now i hope you now understand what is threading and how dispatching and all was happening so this is there for the threads okay and i hope you understand so how the operating system runs some code that allows the threads to be scheduled so i hope you understand this thanks a lot